Hello, gorgeous star seeds and light workers. It's Alexander Quinn, and I hope you are well. My goodness, what a what a period it's been. The energies are absolutely outstanding, but also outstandingly astronomically high, and they are coming in bigger and bigger waves. Now, I'm not going to make uh, I'm not going to waste much time today. I'm going to get straight into the message that came through my Octurian self, which is about 450 linear solar cycles in front of us in Arcturus. And I'm going to read this message. Um, the first half is an introduction to a little bit about what's going on at this moment in time and where we are. And then the second half is actually really the crux of the message, which is where my Arcturian self actually starts to give Arcturian tools in terms of um, cogitating um, egoic transformations in, in order to get more of a soul learning and to get the human out of the way. And then he actually breaks down what this then delivers in, in four formats. So I'm just going to read it out. I'm going to get straight to it and we'll get started. Off we go. Many individuals, albeit not universally, may experience manifestations and other enhancements that have yet to assimilate fully as earth energies begin to now climax. These occurrences, while intense, exhibit a gradual physical alleviation indicative of a substantial integration phase recently traversed that is incrementally increasing in linearity. The difference between one's present self and their previous January counterpart will likely manifest as a notable divergence in both appearance and sensation now reflective of the rapid rate at which energetic transformations and shifts are presently unfolding in the lead up towards 2025. Considering this accelerated pace, individuals are anticipated to exhibit a marked resemblance closer to that which humans have um, um, endeared as homo luminous, accompanied by an acknowledgement of the transformative journey undertaken throughout the year and the changes it has presented in reality and living circumstances. A substantial portion of the populace is anticipated to assume novel ro roles, novel roles, occupations, occupations, domiciles, and other similar transitions. Despite the ongoing progression of energy enhancements, significant circuitry upgrades remain impending. Characterized by symptoms akin to flu-like discomfort, fatigue, skin issues, respiratory lethargy. Among others that increasingly convey signatures of density release, outdated resistances, and so on. Gradual adaptation to these challenges is anticipated with many souls feeling the alleviation of leaving their bodies as the rush of souls that came to Gaia to alleviate karmic themes begins to draw to its closing with population numbers now beginning to decrease, reverting to Earth's ideal figure of 3.5 billion. This will be a free will choice that will graduate slowly over time. Okay, we're almost getting to the crux of these techniques that he, he then starts to give us. We're on the last bit. Your star family is observing the unfolding of the great Earth experiment, express profound admiration, love and reverence towards humanity's ascent within physical embodiments and the challenges presented during the great metamorphosis of human consciousness within this special 20 year cycle culminating in 2023. And it's interesting that they they bring this to our attention because I have sometimes in my own personal dealings with other beings and the Arcturians, it's come to my attention that there is almost like this, this short per period of time where a lot of things ha have to come to fruition in, in, in what is a 20-year period from 2012 to 2032. 
the present undertaking wherein individuals navigate ascension whilst inhabiting physical forms represents an unprecedented feat in Earth's five billion year history. Cosmic observers, even from afar, regard Earth's light work as engaged in the endeavor as, and I love how they say this, exemplary entities attaining a status akin to celestial luminaries beyond the limitation of the terrestrial perceptions you see from the ground. So that is the, that is his little in introductory piece into what is really the crux that's now coming. I now wish to discuss matters that are more present in your now regards your April-May transition. In the realms of your social discourse, the human psyche often undergoes a reflective dance, compelled by the ego's insistent urge to interject its voice, be it through commentary, reaction, or assertion. This impulse, whether created in intellect or emotion, stems from the algamum of environmental conditioning and emotional entanglements often learned through the lens of a rudimentary comprehension from the lower realms acknowledged as third and fourth densities which have engaged your earth for far too long. Recently, your reality bore witness to a lunar crucible where the reservoir of suppressed an unacknowledged emotional intuition found an avenue for expression. Some of it, some amongst you admit the admits the energy of Scorpio navigated the currents of withheld energy, while others remained ensnared in their inertia. Allow me to present a simple technique to expedite the integration of your soul's wisdom into the labyrinth of your unresolved egoic shadows. Sounds very poetic, doesn't it? Upon encountering the offerings of fellow light workers and those asleep in the digital agora, resist the ego's clamor to contribute its thoughts and reactions. Instead, embrace silence. For some, this restraint may prove arduous as the ego recoil, recoils against its perceived stifling of lower dimensional impulses, which it must then manifest as commentary back onto the social media or experience that is beginning the mirroring for, for realization. Embrace incoming tides of information like water cascading over a precipice allowing it to recede without leaving a trace of intellectual cognition or emotional attachment. As the egoic mind either tantrums or surrenders its grip on projection, a wondrous metamorphosis unfolds. The ego falls into quiet remission. With emotional attachments rel relinquished, the heart then follows suit until the cacophony of reactionary exertions dissipates altogether, relinquishing both mind and emotion. In this stillness, the higher self, the overseer of the physical template, imparts greater dimensional insights related to the distorted, undistorted data facilitating the following. Number one. Reflection upon the mirroring facets of your reality. Number two, illumination of the soul elements seeking acknowledgement at personal and collective layers. Number three, compassionate discernment of the information's purveyor and their underlying experiences beyond their own veneer. Number four, Liberation from egoic constraints, enabling resonance with the soul's teaching, poised to expand its vibrational spectrum closer to the actual soul learning trying to be created. Therefore, we request you manifest no reaction. 
permitting the gradual unveiling of your soul's expression instead, unencumbered, unencumbered by the clamor of lower dimensional learnt behaviors. By adhering to these principles, you can ascend into the realm of higher learning, harnessing the latent strengths and creativity, har creativity harbored within your shadow self, which bear as much expansion as does the light in higher energies. One must experience neither drowning in darkness nor blinding oneself by the light, but harnessing the majesty in combining the two in balance, for there lies in combination one's highest mastery at this time. And I, I personally think that's wow, absolutely wow. We acknowledge the daunting prospect of relinquishing reactionary impulses in a world full of noise. Yet, as you transcend the urge to vocalize all responses, both solicited and unsolicited, the alchemy of this process shall unveil the wisdom inherent on the crisp mountain top rather than the stormy depths below. This very exercise and the observance of those who nourish it will also allow oneself to see clearly those who are balanced in the incoming energies and those who create self-induced spiraling unnecessity. We express gratitude for your contemplation of these ideas. Your service is felt and experienced beyond the confines of your knowledge at this time. As we are all one with everything being experienced by all in all that is, your work is immeasurable. Iyawatan Shah. Shnwakati shen 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 kwa sharakata dadi in shnwari adiyata kakachik ishak angawa. Now, some of you will need to watch that back. <laughs> I had to read that a couple of times, as I always have to do, um, to really just get my head and my heart around what that means. Um, there's, a, there's a lot in there. There's, there is a lot in there. And as you begin to unpack that, it's incredible just how much is in there. And it sounds quite wordy, but I sat and pondered over that for about two hours this morning. Now, when I unpacked it and unpacked it, and unpacked it sentence at a time, I thought, my God, I'm so glad I am in touch with my Arcturian self and that I can um, get this wisdom through, not only for myself, but for, for the collective, because it is so gorgeous. And so, my parting words for this week are, keep breathing. And don't fear the physical changes. I know the, the ascension symptoms can create fear. They can be intense. Some of you are being feeling breathless. You have incredible changes going on. Pluto is about to go retrograde. The transformation is coming at us at a million miles per hour at this moment in time. <laughs> and it's a lot. I know it's a lot. And you're doing an incredible job. And so many of you are going through so much at this, this time in so many different ways. And I think it's so incredible at what you are all achieving and what you're going through and what you're transforming through. And I think all of you should be incredibly proud of yourselves. So from me for now, until next time, goodbye. <laughs>